What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 tool tutorial. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to use the Revolve tool to create objects that are extruded around a central axis. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So we've talked about some tools in the past that allow you to extrude objects along paths and also in straight lines, but what I wanted to talk about today is a tool that we have that's created to extrude objects in a circle or in a round shape instead of in a straight line. So um, this tool is called the Revolve tool. You can find it in the solid section under the Create, or I also have it up in the actual shortcut section up above. But if you click on Create and then look down a little bit, Revolve should pop up right here. And so what this does is this takes a sketch profile or a face and it rotates it around an axis. So in this situation, for example, let's say we wanted to take this profile and extrude it along an axis. All we would do is just activate the Revolve tool. So just click on the tool and then you need to give it a profile. So in this case, that's going to be our sketch and then an axis, which is going to be our central point. So we're going to click on axis and then we're going to click on our uh, blue axis right here. And what that's going to do is that's going to automatically extrude this into a circle. So it's going to extrude it 360 degrees. And so when you take a look at this, you'll notice that there's an option in here, a little circle that you can drag in order to extrude this less than 360 degrees. So you can see how I can click and drag this and I can set a number of degrees either by dragging it or by typing a value. So if I was to type in 270, for example, this would extrude this 270 degrees. So you can either extrude this all the way in a circle, which you can click on the full button in order to do that as well in the type section or by adding your angle. And so one thing to note about this is you also have the option to use the direction functions in order to adjust this. So you can do one side, which is what we've done right now that just extrudes the one face in one direction, or you could do two sided, which allows you to dictate where both faces go. So you can see how this gives me the value, the ability to add two different angles to this object. Or you can use the symmetric option, which is going to basically extrude your objects symmetrically in two different directions. So you can set like 120 degrees and it'll do this 120 degrees and it'll do this 120 degrees. So you can also use the symmetric function if you need to create a more symmetrical object here. And notice if we look at this, that this will allow us not only to create a new body or a new component, but it also supports the join, cut, and intersect functions. So let's say for example that we did take this object and do a full circle with it. And then let's say we wanted to cut some profiles or something into this. So maybe some notches or something like that. What we could do is we could create another sketch. So we just come in here and draw on this. And then let's say I was to just take a rectangle and draw it in here. We'll just draw a couple different rectangles. And I'm not really worried about them being uniform at the moment. So let's say we were to do this and then finish our sketch. Well, now what we could do is we could use the revolve tool and select these different profiles. And I'm just doing a shift click with the profile selector active. And then we could select an axis. So in this case, we want our blue axis. And I'm gonna hide my body for a second. And we'll turn it back on. So you can see how in this situation, these are turned red. So the reason they're turned red is because this sees that this is intersecting with this object and it's setting us to cut mode. So if we use cut mode, what that's going to do is that's going to remove material rather than add material. So we can go ahead and click OK. And what that's done is that's cut out the material around the profile that we've selected here. So you can use this to remove material as well as adding that material. And so another thing that it's important to understand is you don't just have the ability to rotate this around the origin of the model. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to extrude this object and revolve it. So we just select our profile, but when we select our axis, notice that we can select any of these edges on this object. So I could rotate this around any of these. In this case, I'm going to select the central line. And you can see how this is going to extrude this in a circle around that central line. So we can also use any edges that are in here um, as our central axis to revolve around. And so another thing you might end up doing with this uh, 
tool is not only can you do this to create objects that are touching the central point, but you can also do this with objects that are a ways away from your central point. So for example, let's say I wanted to revolve this circle that I've created. Well, I don't just have to select an axis that's touching the circle. So if I cl click select, for example, I could come find this central point, and you can see how this would extrude this or revolve this around this circle, even though it's not touching it. So you can use it to make larger objects that follow a circular path inside of your model. So another example would be if I wanted to take this profile right here, select my central axis. You can see how you can use this to make different caps or different angle pieces or other things like that that go in a circle. So you're not limited to just having your object touch that central axis. The further away from the axis your object is, the larger the radius of your circle that you create when you do this is going to be. So that's kind of an overview of the Revolve tool and how you can use it to create 3D objects inside of Autodesk Fusion 360. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Are you using this tool? What do you use it for? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.